Hi everyone, welcome to Vinyasa on a very rainy Singapore night in Tuesday, uh, rainy Singapore night in Tuesday, rainy Tuesday night in Singapore. Welcome everyone, who have you got? Hey Kristen, yes, welcome to the Rani show. <laughs> hey Yunting, long time. Good evening, everyone. Um, hopefully, I mean, the sound of rain is beautiful, but hopefully uh, it's not too, too loud during the video for us. Okay. Hi. So welcome to Vinyasa. Anyone first time to Vinyasa tonight? Or anyone first time to Vinyasa with me? Let me know. <laughs> If you're like a partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other that's been roped into practicing, maybe not for the first time tonight, but um, making use of all of these new live streams. I know my partner is um, getting good use of all the new live streams as well. First time with me. Oh, yes, of course. Yun Tang, welcome. Nice. Great, great, thank you, Bruno. Cool. Um, if you are first time to vinyasa, please just take it at your own pace. Uh, only do what feels good, feels comfortable, um, and then building up that resilience over time. So today we're going to be working a lot with uh, arm balances and some twists to Patricia Dragney. Well done, Patricia. Yes, <laughs> she's a very good friend. Um, some twisting, so really, really great for the immune system to re-establish any discomfort um, that you might be feeling in the gut at the moment. So often when we change our routines, change our schedules, uh, we tend to feel a little bit, hi Alice, welcome, a little bit off, you know. So I find twisting in my own practice really helps to reset the body a little bit, yeah. Vinyasa, so we move through things quite quickly. Um, Take everything at your own pace, okay? You're at home, hopefully. Uh, coming from my home to yours, you can take breaks whenever you want, okay? Don't feel like you need to blocks. No, if you, if you have blocks and you wanna use blocks, totally go for it. Um, but I know that a lot of us don't have blocks, props, straps, so only use what you have, okay? Yeah, if you don't have anything, no worries. We're just gonna work with the body today. Alrighty. Um, did you guys enjoy Qigong yoga with Leone? Did you see that? So much fun. So much fun. I need to do some of this <laughs> before teaching as well. Okay, so no blocks. Twists, arm balances. Take everything at your own pace. Cool. We'll just wait a couple more minutes for people to arrive. Tissue boxes. Yeah, I know. Some teachers suggest tissue boxes, but I crush them too. I would recommend blocks, um, maybe blankets. Fold it up nicely, but um, yeah, if you have uh, a deepening yoga practice, probably a good investment in the future for some blocks. A lot of arm balances, no. Arm balances are always optional too. So if you do have a wrist injury, uh, just take it easy. Make sure you spread the weight evenly across the palm of your hand, and then just going to where feels comfortable for the body, for the wrist, okay? So making sure that we're cultivating a very sustainable practice on the mat. Whoa, beautiful thunder, Whew. cool. So if you do like music uh, to your vinyasa, then you can go ahead and press play on whatever groovy playlists that you have. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's get started. So coming onto your mat. Just finding a simple cross-legged position, yeah? whatever feels good. Lengthening up through the spine, arms onto your knees. And closing the eyes. And just taking the next few moments to connect in with the body, with the breath. Becoming aware of what's happening in the system right now. Really asking yourself, how are you feeling tonight? And 
And you can begin to cultivate that ujjayi breath, that slight restriction at the back of your throat. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. And as you breathe, simply relaxing the muscles in the face. Letting go of any tension in the jaw, the neck. And feeling those shoulders moving away from the ears. Roll them down your back. Letting go of any built up tension in the body. So taking an inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, release through the mouth. <sighs> Sigh out the breath. Once again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> the last one, deep inhale breath. Through the mouth, letting go of any tension, ha, sigh it out. And gently take those hands into your heart center for prayer. And give yourself a little bow, acknowledging the effort it takes to arrive onto your mat. Namaste. Okay, Lucas, welcome to your yoga practice. We're going to begin in a tabletop position. So palms underneath the shoulders, knees under your hips. And gently begin to rock the body forwards and back, forwards and back. And just feeling the weight moving into the palms, back into your knees. And continuing with that slow, deep ujjayi breath. your knees okay now this feels fairly comfortable to the wrist you can start to rock forwards and back once again feeling the weight shift into the fingers maybe the heels of the hands lift up just slightly every time warming up the wrist joints the shoulders the hips And coming back to that neutral tabletop position. Go palms underneath the shoulders. To warm up the spine, a few rounds of cat cow breath. So as you inhale, drop the belly down towards the mat. Shoulders away from the ears as you open the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to the chest, rounding through the back, squeeze out the air. Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. And you can move at your own breath. Exhale, round the back up to the ceiling, two cats. Good, two more. Inhale, drop the belly down. Exhale, rounding through the back. Let's do one more big, deep inhale breath. And releasing all the air around the spine. Exhale. Tabletop inhale. Good. Tuck those toes and press back to downward facing dog. And shoulder width apart. And if this is your first practice for the day, walking out through the heels, lengthening through the hamstrings, maybe shaking the head side to side. Doing whatever you need in your downward dog for three. Four, two, and one, good. Feet hip 
with the butt. Now with that inhale, breath lift up to your toes, hips nice and high. Carefully roll the body forward to high plank. So we start to engage through the core, through the belly. Downward dog. Press down through those palms, chest back. Inhale, lift to the toes, roll that body forward to high plank. Downward dog, exhale, bringing some mobility into the shoulders. Inhale, lift to the toes, roll forward, high plank. We'll press down through the palms, rounding through the shoulders. And then take those feet together to touch. Carefully roll onto your left side, left pinky toe, left hand. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling to side plank. Well, if you are a first time yogi, you can always take that left knee to the mat. Just meeting your body where you are tonight. And gently take that right hand down to the mat, high plank. Knees, chest, chin lower down to the mat. Inhale to cobra, nice and gentle. Downward facing jock, exhale. And last time, inhale, lift to those toes, roll forward, high plank, feet together. And rolling onto that right hand side, lift the left arm up and taking your options to side plank. So feel the hips lifting, shoulder moving away from the ear for three, four, two, and one. Left hand down to the mat, knees, chest. And chin. Inhale to cobra. Maybe a little bit higher this time. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lift up to those toes. Bend the knees. And carefully step or hop the feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Inhale. And fold forward. Exhale. Good. Holding here. An option to hold on to opposite elbows, rad doll, or slowly rotate the wrists. Releasing any tension in the hands. Maybe let the body sway slightly side to side, four, three. Relax the face, two. And one, feet together. Spongy knees slowly press down through your feet. Roll the body up to stand. In your Tadasana, feet together. Lengthening through the body. With the inhale, raise the arms over your head. Udva Hastasana, stretch one. Folding forward, exhale. Lift up halfway, look forward, hands to the mat, all the shins, inhale. Exhale, step back, high plank. Good, and Chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift to the toes, bend the knees, step or hop forwards. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Raise the arms, Urva Hastasana, inhale. Hands by your side, Tadasana. Good, building that circulation. Inhale, raise the arms, Udva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, look forward, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Taking your options, good. Up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift to the toes, bend the knees, step or hop forwards. Halfway lift, forward fold. Raise the arms, Udva Hastasana, Tadasana, exhale, good, feet together, this time squeeze your knees, I squeeze the thighs, bend the knees, and then raise the arms up over your head to chair pose. So checking the knees are in one line, reach up, find that length through the side body. And with the inhale breath, open the chest, so lift the arms up. Exhale, swing the arms by your side. Diver's pose, okay? Once again, hips stay low. Inhale to chair. 
Exhale, diver's pose. Keep it going. Knees stay bent. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, diver's pose. Good. Stay with me. Inhale, raise the arms. Hands to your heart center. And twisting to the right. Hook that left elbow over the right knee. Palms pressed together and twist the chest towards the right side. Knees in one line. Thumbs to the heart center, twisting for three. Four, two, one. Inhale, chair pose. Keep the bend in the knees. I know. Exhale to your left. Twist. Knees in one line. Squeeze the thighs together. Left hand presses down to the right. Twist the chest. Rotate the torso. Four, three. Look up. Two, one. Chair pose. Inhale, raise the arms. Forward, fold. Exhale, straighten. Lift up halfway in. Exhale, chop the rounder. Up dog in. Downward facing dog. Exhale, the feet together. And with that inhale breath, raise the right leg up to the ceiling. Three legged dog. Knee to your nose. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, three legged dog. Right leg high. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, same elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow, twist and hold to the left elbow. Hold for three. Press down through the palms, round through the back. Two, one, knee to the nose, to the nose. And carefully set the foot between your palms. Good. Back leg stays strong and straight. Raise the biceps beside your ears. Reach forward. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the chest to high lunge. So keep the bend in the front knee. Lower the hips slightly. Back leg stays strong and straight. And using that breath, find that length through the side body. Reach up. And slightly lean back. Inhale. Exhale, reach the arms forward. Inhale, high lunge, lean back. Exhale, reach forward. Last time, keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, reach forward. And swing the arms by your side. Good. Interlace the hands together. Straighten the arms. Inhale. Exhale, fold the chest over that front thigh. Palms together, press the hands up to the ceiling, to the ceiling. So your left heel is still off the mat, but strong through the thighs. Look forward, press the palms up, shoulders moving back and away from the ears for three, four, two, one. Firm through the thighs, high lunge, raise those arms. Exhale, left hand circles down to the mat. Right arm reaches up to easy twist. Good. So a little bit less pressure on that front thigh. Then carefully rotate onto your left toe. So your left pinky toe. Step, wiggle, jump however you can. Right foot all the way back to side. Plank. Good. Keep those hips lifted. Strong and straight through the left arm and maybe you lift the top leg. Arm over the head. Do whatever you want. Okay, yogi's choice for three. Keep the belly engaged for two. One. High plank. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Up dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Good. Holding for three. Ujjayi breath. Two. And one. Feet together. Inhale, left leg to the ceiling, three, legged dog. Knee to your nose, exhale to the nose, round the back. Inhale, three, legged dog. Exhale all the way to your left elbow, lift the knee up, left elbow. Inhale, three, legged dog. Exhale, knee to your right elbow, twist, touch the elbow, hold it there for three. I know how you guys feel, I'm doing it too. And one knee to the nose. 
foot between your palms, gazing forward. Good, firm that back thigh. Inhale, biceps reaching forward. Exhale, high lunge. Good. Keep the hips low. Inhale, reach the arms and slightly lean back, gentle back bend. Exhale, reach forward. Press down with that left big toe. Inhale, lean back, high lunge. Exhale, reach. Inhale, last time, lift the chest, lean back. Exhale, reach and swing the arms by your side. Interlace the palms together, opposite thumb on top. Straighten the arms, inhale. Exhale, belly over that front thigh. Press the hands up to the seat, up to the seat. But look forward. So we're not going into a humble warrior. Right heel stays lifted. Lengthen through the chest, look forward. Palms press up, up, three. Two, one, high lunge, firm through the feet. Raise the arms over the head, inhale. Easy twist, exhale, right hand down to the mat. Left arm reaches up, and then begin to rotate to that right hand side. Any way you can, left foot, pick it up, place it back to side, plank, go. And you can get as creative, as you like here, yogi's up to you. But whatever, hold it for three, four, two, one, high plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, good, feet together, inhale, lift to the toes, exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, forward, halfway lift. Fold down, raise the arms, Urva Hastasana, and keep the arms long. Good. Bend the knees, exhale, chair pose. Hands to your heart center, inhale. So squeeze the thighs, lower the bums, exhale. Inhale, shift the weight forward onto your toes and lift those heels off the mat. Exhale with control, hips lower down, down, down to your heels, without touching the mat. Navasana, high boat, rock back. And squeeze the legs together, ankles in line with the knees. Okay, so take your options, hold the thighs, hold the mat. Well, come on, let's do it all the way. It's Tuesday, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, low boat, straight to the legs. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat, keep it going, keep the chest lifted. Exhale, low boat, last time. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat, this time cross the legs. If you can, roll over, jump back, chuck the run. Let's give it a go, roll over, jump back, chuck the run. Up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Hey, yeah, if you didn't get it that time, you have another chance, don't worry. Feet together. Inhale, step your right foot between your palms and anchor the left heel down to the mat. Warrior two. Circle the arms open towards the left. And bending deep into that front knee, shoulders away from the ears. With your inhale, straighten the front leg. Raise the arms up to the ceiling. And can you lift those right toes off the mat so you press down with the heel? Warrior two, exhale. Once again, inhale, straighten the front leg, lift the toes. Warrior two, get a little bit lower, exhale. Last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Reach that right palm down to the mat, extended side angle. Now, this isn't. Um, Working today, you can take a block underneath the hand, or maybe supported side angle is better for you tonight. Okay? And gently circle that left arm behind the back half bite. If you want to give it a go, right hand underneath that front thigh to full bite. See if you can hold onto the hands, maybe the t shirt or a towel if you have one nearby. Otherwise, half bind, totally fine. 
lengthen the torso, inhale, exhale, if you can, straighten that front leg, so press down through the right foot, hips back, squeeze the right thigh up towards the hip, left shoulder moves back, twist the chest, twist the chest up for three, four, two, one, re-bend that front knee, warrior two, open the arms, inhale, straighten the front leg, exhale, pivot the toes to the long edge of the mat, 12 o'clock, stretch the arms, lift the chest, inhale, Fold the body forward, exhale, wide legged forward fold. You are taking a hold of the ankles, maybe the toes, anything you can grab. Lengthen the lower back, off the upper back, inhale. Exhale, pull the torso down between the thighs. Aim to get the crown of the head, maybe down to the mat for three. Keep pulling with the biceps for two. One, hands underneath your chest. Definitely walk your hands over to the right side. Back foot steps up, one step. Square the hips, lift the chest, inhale. Fold the body over the thigh, pyramid pose, exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Pull the right hip back. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Keep crawling the hands forward, exhale, fold. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway look forwards. Left hand over to the right side of your right pinky toe. Right hand to the right hip. Lengthen the torso, inhale. Exhale, begin to rotate the chest towards the right towards that front thigh. And if you're feeling comfortable today, raise the right arm up to revolved triangle pose for three. Four, two, keep the breath. Twist the chest, reach up, and one. Hands down to the mat. Chaturanga, step back. And taking your vinyasa all the way to your downward facing dog. But three breaths. In. Exhale, press down through the feet, inhale, exhale, two long through the back of the thighs, last breath, exhale, three, good, feet together, inhale, left foot between your palms, right heel down to the mat, circle the arms, warrior two, and with that inhale, breath straight in the front, raise the arms over your head and lift the left toes off the mat, exhale, Bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, lift the arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, last time, big deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, bend the front knee, hold it here. Left hand comes down to the mat. Right arm up to the ceiling, extended side angle. And taking your options, Whatever worked on the first side. Carefully circle that right arm behind your back. And if you are taking your full bind to that left hand underneath that left thigh. Take a hold of the palms, the t-shirt, uh, the towel, anything, yeah? And what you might find is the chest leans forward. Don't let it lean forward. Lift the chest, lean back, pull the right shoulder back. Gazing up to the ceiling if it feels good. Very carefully press down through that left foot, straighten the leg as much as you can. And try to keep as much length through the torso as possible. Holding for three. Four, two, keep the breath nice and even. And one, re-bend that front knee, warrior two, circle the arms. Straighten the front leg, pivot the toes to the long edge of the mat. Lengthen the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold the body over the thighs. Take a hold of the ankles, the feet, anything you can reach. Lengthen the torso, inhale. Pull the body down, exhale. Once again, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull. Inhale. 
and exhale, pull the torso between your thighs, hands underneath your chest. Walking the palms towards the left hand side. Back foot steps up one step. Square the hips. Lengthen the chest to pyramid pose. Inhale. Fold the body over that thigh. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Keep crawling those hands forward if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath, deep. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway, look forward, inhale. Right hand to the left pinky toe side, yeah? Left hand to the left hip. Keep the legs straight. Pull the left hip back, inhale. Rotate that chest all the way towards the left. Exhale, twisted triangle pose. Yeah, it feels good. Raise that left arm up. Whatever you can do today for three. Keep rotating through that back. Detoxifying through the system, two, and one. Hands down to the mat, yogis. Shut the wrong step back. Up dog, and downward facing dog. Very nice. Inhale, lift to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or hop, forwards. Halfway lift, fold, forwards. Chair pose, bend the knees. Raise the arms, good. Squeeze the inner thighs together, lower the hips. Hands to your heart center, exhale. Lifting the heels off the mat onto your toes, inhale as high as you can go. Lower the hips to the heels, exhale. High boat, inhale, lean back. Just one this time, lower boat, exhale. High boat, inhale, here we go, cross the legs. Shut the rungs, jump back. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Yeah, if it's not happening tonight, just do your best. And you're always welcome to go back to your regular vinyasa. Okay, feet together. And with the inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Warrior two. Circle the arms open towards the left. Straighten that front leg. Squeeze the kneecaps up towards the thighs. Reaching forward, inhale, exhale, extend triangle pose. Feeling that lengthening through the side body. Pull the hips back, reach the crown of the head forward, and then look down at those toes. Right hand top of the mat, inhale, exhale, launching that left foot to half moon pose. Good. And feeling that strength and lengthening through the right leg. Reach the left arm up. Turn the chest to the left for three. Maybe you can experiment with hovering the right hand off the mat. Maybe, maybe not two. And one. Right hand to the mat if it's not already. Bend the right knee. Step your feet together to fold. Oh, keep the knees bent. Raise the arms. Chair pose. Hands to your heart center. Keep the thighs squeezing together. Bum sits lower. Inhale. Exhale, twisting to your right. Hook that left elbow over the right knee. Thumbs to your heart center as you rotate the chest. Thumbs into the heart, but pull the right shoulder back. And here we go, looking down at those toes. Keep the knees together. Pull the left knee back in line with the right. Looking down at the toe, shift the weight forward and heels off the mat. Whoa, yeah. Almost like you're wearing those six inch stilettos, ladies or fellas, whatever you're into. And then carefully lower those hips down to your heels. Keep the knees together. Stay with the twist. Once again, here we go. Lift the hips up halfway. Heels off the mat. Exhale, lower the hips. One more, here we go. Inhale, lift the hips halfway. And exhale, lower the hips. Keep the twist if you can. Good, option one, stay here. Option two, right, uh, hands to the right side of your mat. Bend the elbows like chaturanga. 
We bring the knees up to the forearm, toes off the mat, to side crow. Yeah, and you can take whatever variation you like, experiment with straightening, bending the knees. Whatever you can do, even just one toe off the mat makes all the difference. Three, two, one. Back to your squat. Good. Take the hands to your heart center. Exhale. Lean the bum back. Navasana. High boat. Inhale. Low boat. Exhale. High boat. Inhale. Cross the legs. Chaturanga. Jump back. Up dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Holding for three. Four, two, and one. Here we go, feet together. Step your left foot between your palms, back heel down to the mat. Warrior two, open the arms. Straighten the front leg, inhale. Reach the fingertips forward, and lower down to your extended triangle pose. So hips back, finding length through the torso. Arms stretching for three, two, one, look down at those toes. Left hand, top of your mat, in. Here we go. Launch the back foot off the mat to ha, moon. Press down through that left foot. And keep that right leg at least in line with your torso. Good, maybe the left hand comes off the mat. But up to you, four, three. Bum active, squeeze the belly into the spine, two. And one, left hand to the mat. Bend the left knee, whoa. Feet together to touch, knees stay bent. Chair pose, raise the arms beside your knees. Hands to your heart center. And this time twisting to your left. Hook that right elbow over the left knee. What's gonna happen is the right knee wants to pop forward. Pull the knees back in one line. Thumbs to the heart, twist the chest. Turn the chest, good. Look down at the toes. Shift the weight forward and lift your heels off the mat. And very gently lower those hips to your heels. Keep the thighs squeezing together. Good. Once again, thumbs to the heart center. Thighs squeezing together, lift the hips up halfway. And lower them down to your heels, very controlled. Heels stay lifted, last time, inhale. And exhale, lower the hips to your heels. Option one, stay here in the twist. Option two, hands to the left side of your mat. Bend the elbows, knees up to the armpits. And lift one foot, two feet off the mat, side crow. One side is generally more um, cooperative than the other, okay? Do what I say. Not what I do. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come back through center to your low chair, hands to your heart, exhale. Navasana, high boat, inhale. Low boat, exhale. High boat, inhale, cross the legs. Here we go, jump back. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Feet together. Inhale, lift to the toes, bend the knees, step or hop forwards. Halfway lift, fold down. Chair pose, inhale, hands to your heart center. Exhale, no option to just go through your normal vinyasa. Otherwise, here we go. Weight forward in the toes, lift the heels off the mat. Hips to your heels, exhale. High boat, inhale, low boat, Exhale. High boat, inhale, cross the legs, chap the up. up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog. Exhale, good, holding for three. Four, two. And one, feet together. Inhale, raise that right leg up to the ceiling. The last load on the hip to the mat. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. This time, scorpion tail the leg, bend the knee. Option one, stay here or flip 
the dog. Rotate into your wild thing as deep as you want to go. Right arm reaching over the ear for three, two, one. Right hand to the mat, three-legged dog, right leg high, in. Knee to your nose. And gently step your foot between your palms. Go, hips low, firm through the back thigh. Look forwards, biceps beside your ears, in. High lunge, exhale. Keep the hips low. Inhale, lift the chest, lean back. Exhale, reach forward and swing the arms by your side. Once again, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, swing the arm. Good, last time, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, use that momentum, warrior. Three, good, left foot lifts off the mat. Arms swing by your side. Strong through that right leg. Square the hips. Holding for three. Four, two. One. Left knee to the chest. Raise the arms up over your head. Stand on one. Left. Hold it here. Now option today. Right hand to that left knee. Left arm circles behind your back. Twist towards the left. You want to go a little bit deeper. Take a hold of the left foot with the right hand. And straight to the left. Whatever you can do, four, three, four, two, twist the chest, one, raise the arms over the head, inhale, warrior, three, exhale, swing that left leg back, high lunge, left foot touches down, raise the arms, and to the count of three, we're going to lower the back knee down to the back, so nice and slow, no cheating, four, three, keep it slow, two, almost there, and one, knee touches down, take the hands on the inside of your right foot, inside, and then wiggle that right shoulder underneath the right knee, as much as you can, hands frame the front foot, and challenge one, lift the right heel off the mat, challenge two, lift the right foot off the mat, if that foot is off the mat and you can give it a wiggle, shift the weight forward, arms like chaturanga. Straight to the right leg, maybe lift the left foot off the mat and fly for three, four, two, one, chuck the rock. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Exhale. Whew. Yeah, just heel, foot. Any little um, advancement in your practice is a win. Okay, last side, inhale. Left leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, scorpion tail that leg. And option two, flip over to wild thing, over the chest. Reach the left arm forward. Three, keep the hips high. Two, one, left hand touches down. Left leg to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Knee to your nose. And foot between your palms. Good. Firm the thighs. Look forwards. Inhale. Biceps beside the ears. Exhale. High lunge. Hips slow. Back leg strong. Inhale. Lift the chest. Lean back. Exhale. Swing the arms by your side. Inhale. High lunge. Lean back. Exhale. Swing. Last time. Inhale. High lunge. Use all of that momentum, warrior three. Right leg this time off the mat. And try to get that torso parallel to the mat. Pull the right hip down for three. Belly engaged for two. And one, right knee to the chest. Raise the arms over your head. Stand on one leg. Now option to take the left hand to the right knee. Circle the right arm behind the back. Twist the chest. You want to take it a little bit further on a Tuesday. Reach down to that foot. Whoa. And if you have your balance, unlike me, straighten the leg. Okay, maybe look to the back hand. Whatever you can for three. Keep the twist. Two. One. Raise the arms up over the head with control. Warrior three. Inhale. High lunge. Exhale, touch down. Count of three. Stretch up. Lower the back knee 
to the mat for three, four, two, and one. Touch the knee down. Hands to the inside of your left foot. Inside. And carefully wiggle that left shoulder underneath the left foot. Hands frame the foot, shoulder width apart, and lift the left heel. Left the left foot off, maybe. And if you've got that far, bend the elbows and then straighten the legs as much as you can. Eka Pada Kundinyasana, two. Good, holding for three. Ooh, squeeze the elbows for two. And one. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Step back. Good, holding for three. Four, two. And we go. Success. I'll take that as a yes. Okay. And one. Feet together. Inhale, lift to the toes, rolling forward, high plank. And lower down all the way onto your belly. Good. Reach the arms behind your back, interlace the hands. And with that inhale breath, straighten the arms, lift the chest. Strong through the belly, open the throat for three. Arms press back. Two. Stretching through the wrists. And one, release, good, Whew. let it go. Last time, hands interlace behind the back, opposite thumb on top, straight to the arm, lift the chest. If it feels good, squeeze the bum, legs lift off. Press the hip bones down, shoulders moving away from the ears for three, four, two, and one, release. Good. Gently take the hands underneath the shoulders. Press the body back to child's pose. Very gently walk the hands back towards your thighs, bum to the mat, and then straighten your legs out in front. Good. Come to lie down on your back. Soles of the feet to the mat, knees hip width apart. Open the arms out like a capital T. And carefully drop both knees to the right hand side. Twist. Bring the knees back through center. Inhale. Exhale over to the left. Twist. Inhale, knees through center. Exhale, drop them to the right and twist. Good. Option to hold here. Otherwise, straighten that left leg out towards the right hand, okay? If you can, take a hold of the foot. If you want to go a bit further, left hand reaches over to the right foot for cat's tail go twist. Whatever twist you like to do to finish your practice. Three. Two. Bring the knees back through centre, soles of the feet on the mat. And once again, arms out by your side, drop the knees to the left. And if you can, take in whatever twist is of your choosing. Maybe straighten that um, right leg. Or maybe grab the left foot with the right hand to your cat's tail. Three. And one. Bring the legs back through center soles of your feet on the mat. And gently hug your knees into the chest. Maybe rock slightly from side to side. Massage the lower back. And find happy baby. Knees into the chest. Take a hold of the outer edges of your feet. Pull the knees down towards them. Yeah, and if you've got extra space and you're a, um, a super flexi, <laughs> you can straighten those legs, but up to you. And you might like to continue your rocks for three, two, one. Soles of your feet together to touch. And carefully place them down on the mat to Sutta Bhattakanasana, so reclined butterfly. 
Soles of the feet together, knees relax out. And take the arms up over your head. Good. Shoulders squeeze together. It's taking a moment to return into the body. Slow, deep breathing for three. Four, two. And one. Good. Gently release the arms down by your side. Bring the knees together, soles of the feet to the mat. Good. Now option one is to go straight into your Shavasana from here. Option two, um, if there's any part of the body that feels a little bit tense, a little bit tight, you can stretch it out. Um, option three, if you've got inversions in your practice, such as shoulder stand, um, plow pose, or even an extra bridge or a wheel. Okay, up to you, self-practice. Otherwise, just stay here breathing into the belly. Allowing the body to settle. So whatever you want for the next one minute, okay? And just enjoying the time that you've taken to come onto your mat today. Final breath. And whatever you're doing, gently. Release. Good. Option to come straight into your Shavasana. Otherwise, you can come up and have a chat to me. Okay. So yeah, so that was um, a vinyasa class for you. We did some twists, played around with a couple of arm balances. Um, yeah, so if it's your first time going into arm balances, um, please just be careful that if anything you feel areas of tension arising in the body, make sure with these next few breaths that you um, do something to just stretch it out. So yeah, gentle wrist movements, opening through the shoulders. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys went. If you have any questions as well, we are here for you guys. Okay? Everyone went okay. How did our Ekapada Kundinyasana, our flying splits, go? A lot of these um, arm balances, I find they look a lot, oh good, good. They look a lot um, more challenging than they are, especially when we're a beginner. And for your, the advanced practitioners out there, um, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> hey, they start. I know it's side crow. Some people love it, other people hate it. Yeah, love, hate relationship. Um, often, yeah, when we do things for the first time, we forget how challenging they are. You know, we forget that downward dog used to be a really um, unusual posture to be in. You know, you're upside down, the hamstrings are really tight, um, the body's not loose, it's not open, it feels awful. No problems, guys. Thanks, Bruno. Bouncy beans. I like that name, bouncy beans. Ashley, oh, thanks, Ashley. Good. Yeah, if you got, please send me in any feedback um, or, oh, good, thank you, thank you. Yeah. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. <laughs> you know we all um, love extra feedback to uh, help improve the class. So please, if you have any questions, like, yeah, send them in through the group. That's what we're here for, you know? That, um, but we totally respect, yeah, respect. I know it's um, very challenging actually to talk and practice at the same time, but it um, really uh, helps us grow as teachers as well. Miss your detox and digest. Yeah, I miss teaching it too. Yeah, if you guys want detox and digest, write that in as well and we can put it somewhere in the schedule. Otherwise, um, message me directly and I can see if I can schedule one in on my own account as well. Cool. Miss my music. <laughs> you can always look me up on Spotify. Yeah, plenty of playlists. Hey, go cool. Lovely to see you. Puva, thank you. Yeah, so um, if you're an early bird, check out 7.30, I believe, 7.30, Yin Yang with Azmi, Azmi, such a cool guy, definitely check him out, awesome vibes, um, and yeah, keep in touch, we, all of us teachers, we really miss uh, practicing with you, 
we uh, miss having a full class with you. So yeah, if you need anything, please reach out. Uh, whatever you need, we're here for you guys. So um, make the most of all of these uh, wonderful live streams and teachers that we've got coming up. Check out your favorite teacher's personal Instagram page too, because there might be some extra surprises going on there too. Otherwise, if there's no questions, detox, but no hot. <laughs> um, if, there's, if you want hot yoga, just do it outside in Singapore, totally. Um, if there's no more questions, I will say good night to everyone. When's my next class? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Look out on the schedule. Um, it's still coming up. TBC, to be announced. Yeah. Okay. But have a great night, everyone. Um, please take care. Stay healthy. Boost the immune. Keep practicing on your mat. Every day. Keep practicing. Okay. Good night, everyone. Have a great evening.